For the health-conscious gourmet, there's one ingredient that's sure to set the taste buds sizzling. From frying to salad dressing, olive oil is an essential in any modern kitchen. A wide variety of grades and flavours are available, but they all have one thing in common. No, it's not the green bottle it often comes in, but the olives themselves. Each type of olive has a unique taste. By combining different types, the producer can create an oil with an individual flavour. The process begins at harvest. The traditional method involves collecting olives using tiny rakes, but it's not very efficient. For a big crop like the one on this farm, an automated harvester is used instead. The machine surrounds each tree and literally shakes the olives off the branches. The fresh fruit is collected into a waiting hopper along with some leaves and twigs, but these can easily be removed later. A machine like this can collect as many olives in an hour as it would take the traditional farmer to collect in an entire day. When the harvest reaches the production plant, the fruit is washed to remove any dirt, leaves or twigs that were caught up in the collection process. The more stubborn twigs and branches that remain are filtered out using a grill which only allows the fruit to pass through. To get the best quality oil, the fruit should be pressed as soon as possible. Traditional methods mean there's a delay between harvesting and the grinding process. The original method also uses big millstones like these granite wheels to grind both fruit and the stones into a thick pulp. But modern production carefully controls two vital factors. First, the fruit is sent directly from the harvester to the grinders with as little delay as possible. And second, the fruit is ground more gently. Olives can lose flavour if the fruit is heated by the friction of grinding. The most sought-after olive oil is called cold-pressed. If the fruit pulp goes over 27 degrees, it can no longer be called this and loses value. It's time to extract the oil. In the traditional system, the pulp is layered between hemp mats. Each quantity of pulp is followed by another mat and so on, until the alternate layers look like a stack of giant pancakes. The stack is placed in a hydraulic press, which literally squeezes the oils from the pulp. It's collected below and has the traditional cloudy golden colour associated with good quality olive oil. The modern method is far less aggressive, but just as effective. Instead of crushing the pulp, it's spun in a centrifuge like this one. As it's spun around, the oil passes out through a fine mesh, leaving the pulp behind. The oil can then be siphoned off and stored, while the remaining pulp is collected elsewhere. It's not wasted though, it's recycled and can be used as fertilizer or animal feed. It may surprise you to know that once it's been pressed, olive oil can be tasted like wine. The experience is obviously very different, but this is one way the experts can assess the purity and flavor of their product. Pure, unfiltered oil is considered the most valuable. If the residues are filtered out in a centrifuge like this one, what emerges is considered a slightly inferior grade of oil. The standard grade that you would find on a supermarket shelf is stored in steel tanks like these. Here, the final residues sink to the bottom, and what's pumped out at the end is a clear olive oil for the mass market. Olive oil is usually bottled in green glass, and there's a good reason for this. It helps filter out harmful UV light that can cause it to deteriorate. Finally, the bottles are sealed and labelled up, ready to be shipped out to homes and restaurants all over the world. So whether it's cold-pressed extra virgin for dressing or standard grade for frying, olive oil continues to be cooked up in kitchens everywhere.